I wanna be with you night and day. See ya. <laughs> oh shit! God damn it, mother! How's it going everyone and welcome back to another episode of Is It Worth It? Today I am joined by the lovely Jack from Jack's Game Face. Say hello, Jack. Hello, Jack. <laughs> How are you doing today, buddy? Yeah, not too bad. How are you? Yeah, I'm not too bad, thank you. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, Is It Worth It? is the show where we take a game of £20 or less, play it for a few hours and then we break it down have a little chat and give our verdict on whether we actually think it's worth the money paid uh, effectively. And today we've got a lovely little game. Jack, would you like to tell the audience what we uh, had a little look at today? So we've been having a little look at another asymmetric horror game called In Silence. So In Silence was developed and published by Ravenhood Games and was released in October 2020. So Jack, tell us about the story. So, uh, the story behind this game is that there isn't much of a story, to be honest. You are a survivor or a monster, you're dropped in a forest, and the idea from the survivor's perspective is to either kill the monster or escape, um, and the, the perspective of the monster is to kill all of the survivors. The game doesn't really explain much of this. Uh, the, the reason that you're there, it just kind of dumps you in and goes, go. How much would you give the story? So I would give the story probably a pound out of the pound 43 because the, the game doesn't necessarily need a story, but it would be nice to know what your motivation is to, to do this. Obviously, it's survival, but I'd like a little bit more, you know, content context as to why we're here. Nice. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. So when we look at the gameplay, it's interesting to say the least. So let's break this down into two parts very quickly. Uh, the first is from the survivors. You can have up to four survivors and it's all in first person. It's bloody dark and you've either got to, as Jack said, escape or kill the monster. You go around from house to house, from area to area, looking for either parts to a car which you must fix to be able to escape or little symbols which are a code to open a big metal box in which guns and things are which you use to kill the monster now you have to be exceedingly quiet there are things around that make a lot of noise you make noise and the monster works on sound it is blind so then we flip over to the monster side of things once again first person because you are blind you can see barely anything you have a couple of powers like uh, leaping, sprinting, and also being able to see slightly more, but you mainly work on a radar. And this radar picks up little points uh, around you in which sound is coming. And so you basically have to move your way around trying to figure out where these sounds are coming from and hope that it's the humans, basically. And, you know, so gameplay-wise, it's quite enjoyable. It's spooky. It definitely has a spooky vibe and it can get really intense sometimes. Uh, the monster is very fast paced, um, but it can actually be quite difficult to control sometimes, to be perfectly honest with you. The biggest problem I would say I have with it is actually the map is quite large and you find yourself getting lost quite a bit. We've had some points where we've been wandering around quite a bit and it's a bit unfortunate. So the gameplay, I would give it the full £1.43 out of £1.43, to be honest, because it is entertaining. It is good fun. It's difficult as the monster, but actually, gameplay-wise, it's pretty solid. So next up, we got the graphics. And to be fair, actually, the graphics are pretty good, especially for an early access game. Uh, everything's looking pretty decent. The monster looks absolutely brutal. It is something else. Um, I would say the biggest downfall in graphics is actually the, the people, the humans. They look very much like just kind of stock characters. 
and all the effort has kind of gone into the rake the monster and all the surroundings and the detail which i don't have too much of an issue with to be fair especially since everything's played from first person so not having too much details in the characters isn't a massive issue so once again i'm probably going to give the graphics uh, a full one pound 43 jack do you want to tell us about the uh, music and sound effects a little bit because this is a this is a biggie yeah, so um, that was that was the main thing that sold this game for me uh, was the sound effects and the actual uh, audio mixing. Obviously, the game is based on sound, and everything you do creates sound, whether it's walking through the grass or startling some crows or throwing rocks. Um, but the way that it's mixed together um, is is very effective. The jump scares, for example, in this game are brutal because you're relying so much on these little sounds and listening for the, the breathing of the monster that if it catches you, the noise that it makes is terrifying. And they've done such a good job with that. There's also things like the random thunderstorms that happen where there's absolutely no cue. It just suddenly, the loudest clap of thunder you've ever heard in your life will happen. Um, and they've done such a good job with it. I would give the full 143. I would give more if possible because they've done such a good job on this. Right, so Jack, can you give me one thing you like and one thing you disliked about this game? Um, as I said before, I do very much enjoy the sound aspect of this game. I loved, we actually did a playthrough of this game where we used open mic, so we weren't using push to talk. And it makes this game very intense. You end up whispering to each other and you end up having to be really careful about when you communicate. And I think that kind of dynamic um, really brings a game like this to light. So I think the actual, the gameplay, the audio uh, mechanic in the game is amazing. Um, you briefly mentioned before uh, one of the things that was a bit frustrating and is actually playing as the monster is quite um, quite difficult. Uh, obviously the monster is supposed to be blind, but all you can see is just this red blur the entire time and it can be quite frustrating playing as the wreck. Yeah, I would say one thing I really like, I've got to agree with you to be honest, the sound, the way it works on sound and everything, um, I think is absolutely brilliant. The jump scares are really good. And as you said, when you've got a talk on open mic instead of push to talk, it really adds this whole different aspect to it and it works really well. So my biggest dislike is actually, I found it too easy to find all the car parts actually. When we played, I found it was much easier to find all the car parts than it was to find all the symbols to unlock the door. Now wanting to kill the monster is a cool idea you know it makes it more entertaining because it adds this extra layer of or oh, will we actually kill it because you actually have to fight it whereas when it comes to find the car parts because there were so many there was it felt like there was an overabundance there were more tires across the map than was needed for the car more cans of petrol than what was needed and I found it actually made it too easy in that sense. It was too easy to slip into, oh, well, we've got all the car parts, let's just go. You know, it would yeah. have been nice to just make it that little bit more difficult on the escape front so that you weren't kind of going, oh, it's easier to escape. So I would say overall, and I don't know if you'll agree with me this, but I'd probably only give it about £1.20 on the general overview. Yeah, no, I think that's about accurate. Um, so that gives us a total of £6.49 out of £7.15, which I would say pretty much, you know, it's a few pence off, but I would say that's pretty much worth it. Yeah, I think this is a brilliant game. If, you, if you've if you got friends who are into horror games and especially into the asymmetric horror games, um, get a few mates together and it is a lot of fun. There is something really funny about the fact that you can also talk while you're the monster. So you can run around kind of going, I'm going to get you, I'm going to get you. And it is very entertaining. <laughs> Nice. Well, thank you very much for joining me today, Jack. No problem. Um, guys, if you haven't, there is a link down below to check this game out on Steam. I will also be leaving a link to Jack's Twitch and his YouTube page down below. So make sure you go check out his content. He's got some fantastic content. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring the bell to keep up to date on all our latest content. Drop a like and let us know, did you play In Silence? What did you think about it? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. And we'll catch you next time. Bye. Take it easy, everybody.